joined here by Blake Akers for the latest People's Presser presented by VRGF, um, heading into an exciting few weeks for the footy club. Um, Blake, we'll get straight into it. This one's from Aaron. Um, were you expecting a season this exciting when you arrived at the club? Oh, I wasn't expecting the roller coaster that we've been on, but um, yeah, I was hoping for finals and um, we're here now. So yeah, it's been a, been a crazy year to date, but um, <coughs> I think we've got a bit to go still, so. Natural follow-up from Anthony. Um, pumped to be playing finals footy this time in the navy blue. Yeah, really excited. Um, obviously, it was my, you know, one of my goals to come here and um, you know, be playing finals footy. So, um, yeah, I can't wait. Uh, what's the hardest challenge that you've faced this year as a footballer? Hardest challenge? Um, I think you know the crowd and um, how passionate the Carlton fans are. Um, we went when we weren't going that well. They were still rocking up, but they were uh, very vocal you know, in their support. <laughs> um, so just sort of getting used to the, the big crowds and um, sort of the, the media we, we cop each week. So um, I think the, me as personally, I've sort of got through that, and the group's been uh, really good last you know month and a bit. Um, this one's from Tori. How does it feel to be repping the navy blue jumper? Yeah, awesome. Uh, I love this club, and um, since I've been here, I felt like home. So, um, no, nah, it's been it's been a great you know first year. Um, for I think for the whole group as well, and not just me personally. Your favourite win from this year? That one's from Tully. Favourite win probably my first one against Geelong round two. Um, obviously they were reigning premiers and. Um, yeah, that was probably my favourite one. That's your favourite win. This one's from Dowling. What's your favourite moment been since you played for Carlton? Favourite moment? Um, I think beating Collingwood. That sort of sort of put us in that little spot where we really grew our belief as a group. Um, and another moment was the goal against the Saints. So I like that one. That's a natural follow-up because that's that was the next one. Uh, was your goal against the Saints in the fourth quarter the best of your career? That's from Shane. Please don't mention last year against Carlton. <laughs> We're taking that one out. It's probably it'd be up there. Yeah, I haven't kicked that many goals. So, how do you, how do you compare the two? Uh, I reckon the Carlton one was better just because it was a bit more meaning in it. I reckon against the old mob and a um, bit of the sealer at the time. Uh, this one's from Wayne. What was going on with you and Rowan Marshall at Marvel a few weeks ago? Was that friendly banter or something more? Nah, it's all friendly. We used to live together, so um, yeah, he's just getting into me a bit, I reckon, and trying to fire his boys up. So we had dinner after the game and I laugh about it. Uh, this one's from a massive fan of yours. His name's Lockie O'Brien. Um, why does everybody call you Skull? One of the new boys, Hutto. Okay, if he's, um, they nicknamed him Skull and they reckon I look a little bit like him, so I'm not sure if it's an insult or if it is an insult, I reckon, knowing Hutto, so um, yeah, I don't reckon start calling me that. We'll, we'll stick with Sheriff? We'll stick with Sheriff. Uh, from Angus, how many kilometres do you run in a game? Oh, it depends how many minutes I play, but last sort of month have been around the 15. And natural follow-up, um, how have you seen the development of Dutchie and Binzi in their debut, debut years? Oh, They've been really good. Um, both kids really eager to learn and had a bit to do with them playing on the wing. So, um, yeah, both kids are always asking questions. And, um, yeah, when Binzi gets his crack, he'll be ready to play as well. Uh, not so much a footy-related one, this one. How old are your dogs? Nine and seven now, but in, in November. Um, if you're on the million-dollar question on who wants to be a millionaire and you have to phone a friend from the squad to help you with the answer, who would it be? That's from Cripsy. Uh, who would answer their phone? Um, I reckon Pitto would be a good one. I reckon he's quite intelligent as well, so I'll go with him. Uh, has the Sheriff been handing out and managing this club's fines? That one's from Reese. Oh, not, not quite yet. I've had a little bit of input. Um, add, add, added the old spin the wheel I used to use at um, Freo, so that's in play now. Um, still Jack and Wiedering taking charge? or? Yeah, yeah. I sort of like to sit back and just watch now. So it's a bit of effort to be doing it all year. Um, from Luca, this is from a chat you did a few weeks ago. How overrated are warm-ups? Oh, nah, don't need them. I think it depends on who you are, but um, if I'm running a lot in the game, I don't want to be wasting any tickets before the game. So just uh, get a rub in the rooms while everyone's running around and uh, relax. Uh, Zainab has asked, and this one's an easy one, especially with member thank you around this weekend. Are we the best supporter base in the AFL? Yeah, yeah, definitely the most passionate as well. <laughs> Very loud. Um, from Luca, 
This one's a pretty simple request, more than a question. Can you tell Charlie Kerno that Luca said hi? Luca said hi, I'll tell Charlie that. Yeah. Thank you very much. Um, and just finally, into some quick fire questions to close out. From Tiana, who's the funniest teammate? Sauce. Captain Bluebud, uh, who's the toughest player at the club? Cripper. Pineapple on pizza? Nah. Good. What's your go-to Italian meal? Uh, fettuccine carbonara. Well done. Uh, favourite footy boots? Uh, love it. I'm loving my uh, uh, futures at the moment. I was wearing the Kings before, but I've switched over the, um, the futures now. Melbourne or Perth? Perth in off-season, Melbourne during footy season. Uh, your coffee order? It's just a skinny latte at the moment. And by far our most popular question, what's your go-to Taylor Swift song? Uh, the new one, Enchanted, at the moment. I've been cracking that a bit. A little bit like you're, you're, you're a full-blown fan? or oh, I listen to the country uh, uh, digital radio channel in my car, so it's been playing a fair bit on there. Thanks, Sheriff. Thanks, mate. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>